Darlings, welcome back. Episode 8, In the Papers with Julie Halston. Hello, darling. James Steele. Uh, oh, Hello, darling. Mm, mm, New haircut. Looks good. You won't see it. Hi, <laughs> Paddle Henson. Goodbye. Oh. All right, here we go. We're going to start with Kirsty Alley. Oh. oh. Fell on Dancing with she, the Stars. Okay, she didn't fall. She got dropped. She got dropped. Well, well, well yeah, let's did. just say it, okay? The poor Maxim is at her, you know, yeah, partner. Yeah. He's, you know, when you're holding on to a redwood, well, someone's going to fall. Timber. True. All right, whatever. Good luck, Kirsty. We're rooting for you. Wendy Williams was kicked off, Thank and I God. say justified because she was terrible. Thank or God. he was terrible. One I know that was a little bitchy. <laughs> to something. I went to the theater the other night. Oh, you know, I'm in the oh, theater. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I went to see the new show, uh, the uh, Mother Effa with the Hat. Yes. Oh, the Chris Rock. With the Chris Bob Rock, and I know, uh, a shout out to Riedel the Needle, who's back from vacation. Oh. Because I took over for you for a little while, darling. <laughs> and apparently it's not doing the business, but I have to tell you, it's sensational. Yeah. It's a terrific play. Everyone is marvelous. Bobby Carnavale. He's a friend. adorable. He's, He's a friend of yours? Of mine, yes. Is he still oh. dating Sutton Forster? I just I tell you, know. I haven't know. seen him. But anyway, he's terrific, and he should get a Tony nom. And Chris Rock, who's a big, uh, wonderful, phenomenal comic, does a very good job. All and right. everyone's terrific. Go so see I, it. Say, I say go see it. Go see the, with the hat. Brooke Shields is going into the Adams Family. All right, Brooke and I, can I just tell you something? A friend. A friend? I did Love Loss and What I Wore with Brooke Shields. The fabulous love loss. Yes. Yeah. Fabulous love loss. It was a smash. It is a smash. Still. Still, yeah. going still on. a smash for years now. And it's still a smash. And, you know, the rotating cast of celebs. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke Shields is a wonderful performer. She's gorgeous. And what a woman. What a yeah. terrific woman. A shout out to you, Brooke. Call me. <laughs> we'll, we'll go out again. She's terrific. So I'm, she's uh, going to be uh, in Adam's family. Right, right. So I'm very yeah, happy about that. Show. Hopefully nice she'll... Um, She'll save Broadway. <laughs> 30 Rock is ending. 30 Rock is ending. So what is that? Six it's years? Five six years? Six enough years. for syndication. Because Tina Fey needs more money. <laughs> she needs more money. She needs more awards. Why haven't, you been, on, hands. Why haven't you been on 30 Rock? No, really? they don't like me. They snub me. It's and I'm a friend of Alec Baldwin's. It's terrible. Call me, Tina Fey. <laughs> Bossy pants. Um, that's her new book. I'm giving yeah. her a shout out, even though she... Sometimes annoys me. Reese Witherspoon got married. Yes. Yeah. To her, uh, to an agent, which to me is like marrying a serial killer. Um, Charles Manson, you know my yes. obsession because I'm obsessed with families. Uh, Jim, James James Marsden uh, is going mm. to play James. Yummy. It's Charlie called. Manson. It's called the Dead Circus. The Dead Circus. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't get that. Name. It's a strange. Name. It's a bad name. But It'll change. On Charlie. Meredith leaving the Today Show. Very possible. Yeah. This is the rumor, and I'm not talking rumor, Willis. The rumor is that uh, Katie Couric is leaving CBS Evening News. Yeah. We right. know that. And now Meredith is saying she cannot emotionally take the Today Show anymore. What? I don't understand that. I, For $10 million, but she can do I can emotionally take anything. Wait, there's a picture of Surrey. I have to say, little oh, right. Surrey, Surrey's a shout 25. out to Surrey. She's finally smiling. Oh. Hopefully someone else has adopted her. Well, um, item I heard, Matt Morrison. We all, we love Matt Morrison. We love Matt Morrison. Had a little intimate dinner with Gwyneth Paltrow, my least favorite star. Ever. And uh, they're doing a duet together, apparently, right. you know, a, a recording. Uh, who will buy? I don't know. Um, but anyway, they had an intimate dinner, so, and where was her husband? Nowhere to be found. <laughs> Coldplay. Does that say it all? Old play. <laughs> what, right. did, what did you hear on Gawker? What did I hear on Gawker? I did hear something on Gawker, but you have to remind me, because, you know, I've lost my mind. What, what did I hear on Gawker? <laughs> what did I hear on Gawker? I heard something. I read it this morning. It was amazing, too. I know. <laughs> I just put on Gawker. I completely forgot. Everyone, by the way, who watches in the papers, you must follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com backslash Julie Halston. I want all of you to be my followers. Okay, here's the blind item. And I want to, to know from you who you think it is. A vegan A-list actress who was in celebrity rehab has fallen off the wagon again with a parent. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Let me know who you think it is. Sean Hayes is going to be in the new Three Stooges movie. All right. Sarah Rue has lost 50 pounds. And I said, with bravo, because I believe in bulimia. 
um, from 14 to 4. Unfortunately, she's probably lost her career, too. Let's get to it. We're going to announce. Oh, oh. surprise the package. Drum roll, paddle, drum roll. What, <laughs> what you gave up for Lent and why, and we have a winner. First of all, we got a lot of fantastic submissions. Uh, we have a winner, but before we announce the winner, because we like to make it, you know, very suspenseful. suspenseful. Yeah. One person was giving up Catholicism for Lent, Perfect. which I thought was very fascinating. Funny. I thought Perfect. that was funny. Another person was uh, interested in um, giving up, um, counting how many guys he wants to be uh, in bed with at AA meetings so that he can actually concentrate on the message of AA. Uh, now, uh, as someone who knows a little bit about the fellowship, um, first of all, it's anonymous. Why do I now know your name and where you live? <laughs> it's called Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, one person was going to uh, not give up on Julie Alston. Oh, oh I like that. Isn't that sweet? That's perfect. They, sweet. they would never give up Julie Alston, which oh. I thought was marvelous. But here's our winner. Oh, the winner. Uh -oh. I'm going to read it to you. This is from Hillary. You've won the prize package, and I want to meet you, Hillary. Uh, Where is she from? Hillary is from New York. All right. New York, New York. What am I giving up, even though I'm a Jew and I have clearly given up enough? I love that. I'm giving up sacrifice. <laughs> We've only got so much time and I want to get on in all of it and do what I want. Why should I sacrifice a gay old time at a gay old theater in order to afford dinner, rent, and other frivolities? <laughs> What I'm not giving up and never will is cheese. <laughs> what a silly thing to give up. It tastes so good that I shouldn't even have to give a reason why I am never going to give it up. <laughs> Hillary, you're crazy. <laughs> you're funny. I hope they put a little camembert in your prize package. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, I can't wait to meet you. You are the winner of the oh, one I Hillary. Hillary in New York. Exciting. And thank you for that. Thank you to all those people who, you know, uh, wrote into BroadwayWorld.com. Thank, Broadway and thank yeah. you, BroadwayWorld.com, for this contest. And now it's time for our segment, Ask Julie, which is, oh, I tell you, I love it. And I love hearing from you. So what we have, we have a few questions. Craig from New York wants to know what is the funniest thing that's happened to you and Charles on stage. Charles Bush, by the way, the divine sister. Here we are Brilliant. back yes. here. Brilliance plus, uh, my dear friend. Well, you know what? So many funny things happen, but I do remember one time, because, you know, Charles is such a clever writer and such a, you know, smart mind. One time we were doing Vampire Lesbians of Sodom, and I went up on a line, and I thought that Charles would cover for me. No, you know what he said to me? Right on, on stage. Say something. <laughs> that was the funny. I was like, did he really just say? <laughs> say something. Anyway, we ended up laughing hysterically. And here's a question from Matt from New York. What will happen to In the Papers after the Divine Sister closes? And as many of you know, May 1st is our final performance of the Divine so Sister. I don't want to think about you it. You have to hurry down. You will never regret it. It's the it's the funniest show in the world. It's true. And that it's is true. a threat. You have to come to the Soho Playhouse. <laughs> well, what is going to happen to In the Papers? Darlings, we would like to continue. We have thousands of fans, but only you can help us save In the Papers. So, this is what I'm going to ask you to do. You know how to contact me through Twitter, through Facebook, uh, juliehalston.com, which is a new website that we are building. It's coming soon. Coming soon. So please let us know. Let us hear from you. Let us know that you want in the papers to continue. Okay? Because we want to we wanna do. We're simpatico. <laughs> I also have a little fan mail that I wanted to read. Though I do appreciate Rosie. I think they're talking about Rosie Oh, she's oh. fantastic. She's fantastic. I love her. And a friend from Coma. I have decided the best and the only way Oprah can save her network, a weekly hour-long show, in the papers with Julie Halston, it would be a hit. You're welcome, Oprah. That would be funny. <laughs> um, I am a huge fan and thought you were outstandingly hilarious in the Divine System. Thank you. I couldn't agree more. 
Um, if you ever need another person on Team Halston, mind you, I call them that. Well, you are oh, Team Halston. Oh, cool. nice oh, I love that. Give me a call. Um, this is from I Can Do Laundry, Cook, and Sew. Sign them up. <laughs> are you cute? That's Teddy from New Berlin, Wisconsin. You're gonna okay, call get out of there. <laughs> yeah. First of all, uh, you need to come to New York and do your... Uh, uh, laundry and sewing and cooking and all that stuff and you need to do it for me. <laughs> Anna in New York wants to know, fess up Julie, what's the worst Broadway show you have ever seen or the worst movie and why? Well, the worst Broadway show I ever saw was Dancing with the Vampire. How dare you? It's the worst show I've ever seen. Of course, I adored it. But it's the Man worst show. Pastor. Do you actually know the I words? Know. Garlic, garlic, that's why we're so young. Garlic, <laughs> garlic, that's why we're so well hung. Oh, what about uh, worst movie I ever saw? The House of Sand and Fog. No! It was so beautifully shot. The, pho the photography. Does that make that a movie, movie, Paddle Henson? That's a movie. How it's shot. It was the most depressing film ever. And it didn't make money, as far as I know, because <laughs> nobody wanted to it see a movie about this functional. Beautifully shot yes. does not make a great movie. It just means it's beautifully shot. That's why you go see it. Oh. All what right, do we'll you know, Julie? You thought Dance of the Vampires was bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I might have to talk to Mr. New Berlin, Wisconsin, and get a new team, Halston. How dare you? How you dare you? you, How dare you? Know, you don't do my laundry. We love you. Please contact me on Twitter and Facebook, juliehalston.com. We want to keep this going. And come down and see the Divine Sister. It's the funniest show in town. And mwah, we love you. We love all that you've done for us.